If you're an Amazon seller that wants to launch a new product here in the near future, then keep watching this video because I'm about to be sharing with you five product launch tips that I'm getting from my buddy Ian with Bullseye Sellers. Now, Ian with Bullseye Sellers has launched over 500 successful products on Amazon, so he definitely knows a thing or two when it comes to successfully launching new products on Amazon. So let's go ahead and jump into the five tips that Ian is suggesting to Amazon sellers. Real quick, before we jump into it, if you don't know me, my name is actually also Ian. I'm Ian Smith with Evolve Media, and the guy that I'm getting all these tips from is Ian Page with Bullseye Sellers. All right, so anyway, now that we've cleared that up, basically, we're an Amazon marketing agency that helps sellers boost the conversion rate of their listings using photo and video content. We actually put many of our conversion rate boosting strategies into our free Amazon listing checklist. You can get access to this by going to zonchecklist.com. Evolve Media, we help sellers rank higher, get more reviews, increase their PPC return on ad spend, bring in new customers through off Amazon marketing strategies, and we even help sellers obtain their Amazon customer data, like their names, mailing addresses, emails, and phone numbers. So if you are needing help with scaling up your Amazon business, then book a free call with me by going to evolvemediaagency.com. All right, so now let's continue on with these five product launch strategies for my buddy Ian Page with Bullseye Sellers. All right, so now let me share my screen with you so that you can see these five product launch tips from Ian Page with Bullseye Sellers. All right, so this is an email newsletter that Ian recently sent out. All right, so he starts out the email by saying, I have personally been involved with over 500 product launches and have learned a few things that can help make your next product launch a success. So I do believe that they have done a lot of product launches and a lot of them have been massive successes. So I definitely would trust and take into consideration the things that Ian Page is saying in this email because he definitely has been there, done that, and had some great experience. So the first product launch tip that he's recommending to us is saying, try to launch only products not being dominated by big box brands, i.e. eczema cream, pimple cream, tons of new product formulations, big brands are slow to move on, you can easily be years ahead of them. So don't try to compete with big brands like Johnson & Johnson and Aveeno and Vaseline and Maybelline and all the different massive brands. Try to find a niche that is not yet being dominated by those and then launch a product and source a product to launch in that niche. All right, tip number two is to make your packaging bright and bold. Don't do the whole white bottles and white caps thing. Get innovative with it. It looks like the example he has here is a gold cap with a clear bottle. So he's just saying to set yourself apart in the search results, be bright, be like a peacock and have bright colors and grab attention. That's what's gonna get you that high click-through rate and then ultimately you wanna have your your listing in a very great place to then, once you have their attention, to actually convert them into an actual customer. Tip number three is kind of going along with that whole attention grabbing strategy. Basically, in conjunction with having bright packaging and colors that pop, you want to also have a brand name that pops and grabs attention. So what he's saying here is trademark a catchy name for each product to differentiate yourself and make it easy for customers to click. Examples are like Skin Magic, Rash Be Gone, the one he showing here as an example is Manuka Relief. Now my wife actually buys this brand, so whatever it is about this brand, it's getting a lot of people to buy it. So he's just saying have a clever, catchy brand name in conjunction with bright colors and an attention grabbing product listing main default image. So based on these two tips, I would definitely bet that Ian Page is big on click-through rate and trying to get the click-through rate as high as possible. All right, tip number four is all about the price point. What Ian Page says here is to launch cheap. If you're price target is $24.99, then launch at $14.99. This makes it so much easier for consumers to take a chance on your product since you have no social proof, no reviews and things like that. This is key people and don't raise your price until number one, you have at least 25 reviews and number two, sales are stable and at a healthy number. Now I completely agree with this 100%. I actually just did a video on Jungle Scout's annual report and in their data findings, it showed that like 70% of products on Amazon are between the price point of $11 and I think it was 35, it was either 25 or $35. But basically what Ian is saying here and what Jungle Scout was saying is that you should launch a product within that impulse buy price range. So 11 to $25 is definitely within 
a lot of people's budget, even within this inflation times, right? So what he's saying here is launch with a lower price point. But what I would recommend is a little bit different. So launch with that price point in mind, but how you're going to discount it is with a coupon because coupons are really great for pushing urgency. You can get people to take advantage of buying your product right now because they see a coupon and they know that the coupon is not going to be there forever. So they're more likely to buy right now than if your price was just marked down, you know, and had the whole cross out number and then the lower number below it. So all I'm saying is use a coupon to drop your price. Now, also what I'll say about this is to combat the lack of reviews and social proof, as Ian says here, I like to tell sellers to fill out your listing as much as you possibly can. So in the customer question and answer section, the Q&A section is really big for social proof. You can easily post 25 or 50 Q&As in there, and that's going to really address a lot of the concerns. If customers see that you've got a lot of Q&As, that may just be what it takes to address that concern, check that box, and get them to actually buy your product. So there's a lot of other things that you can do on your listing, like great photo and video ads, assets, customer questions and answers, be brand registered, have your EBC A plus content section filled out and built out. And then also once you have the brand registry, build out a storefront. These little things are small, but it's going to build that trust with the shopper so to get them to actually buy your product, even when you're lacking a ton of reviews. And maybe a lot of your competition has thousands of reviews, but you maybe have zero. So these little things are going to help you compensate for the fact that you have no reviews because you're still going to build the trust that they need in order to buy your product. And the fifth product launch tip that Ian Page says in here is all about variations. As you can see here, it says variations launch with more than one option and make one of the sizes very cheap acting as a loss leader. This will get you traffic ranking and most of all new customers. So I definitely recommend this to a lot of Amazon sellers when you're launching a new product. It's all about sales velocity. Don't worry so much about your profit margins because you just need sales. You need to get the wheels rolling. So try to bring your cost of the product down as low as possible so that you can get people buying your product. Because again, they're looking at your listing, comparing it to all your other competitors, and they're seeing you with very small amounts of reviews and your competitors have a ton of reviews. So bringing that price point down is going to lower the risk for them. And then also having variations. I really like this idea of having one very low priced variation and then having a higher price variation. This is going to also give them a bit of a price anchoring effect where they're going to see the other variation is very similar, but it's a higher price. But this variation option is very low priced. It looks like in his example here, he has a one pack versus a three pack. So you're just either going to get them to buy the three pack or because you don't have a lot of social proof and reviews, they may just test the waters with your product by buying that one pack. Then once they get it and they like it, they'll probably come back and buy your three pack option. All right. Now a bonus strategy that Ian and I have talked about that I'm going to drop in here for you is to launch a consumable product if possible. I'm a huge fan of getting the LTV, the lifetime value as high as possible of a customer. You know, it's so expensive these days to acquire a new customer, whether it's Amazon PPC, Google search ads, Facebook ads, TikTok ads, any kind of traffic source, or even just on Amazon organically, you know, their fees are so high and competition is so fierce these days that margins are slim. So highly recommend you get into a consumable product into a consumable product category like skincare. You know, I know that that's very saturated, but other marketplaces are not as saturated as the US. Yes, but ideally you want to get into a consumable product where they can buy it over and over month after month so that when you pay a high dollar to acquire them as that first time customer, then as they buy from you again and again, assuming that they like your product, it's not going to be as expensive for you with that whole lifetime value. Because let's say that they end up buying, let's say five bottles from you over the course of a year, and you basically paid to acquire them once, right? Versus any other product that's not consumable, you're going to pay to acquire them and then they're done, right? The only other option you have to increase that lifetime value is to cross sell them another product. You don't want to be in that space. You want to be in the consumable space or in the space that maybe they have to buy this product, then they need to buy refills from you. You know, like the whole um, Sonicare toothbrush, man, the whole toothbrush and shaver categories, man, those are high profit margins because they sell you this one toothbrush and then you got to come back and buy the refills all the time. So anyway, there are some product launch tips for you. Hopefully you got value from this. Thank you for watching this video. Again, if you want to book a free consulting call with me, head over to evolvemediaagency.com and I'll catch you in the next video.